The YouTube comments section is a great place you can go for intelligent and respectable communication with fellow YouTube users. If you're interested in marketing or online sales or advertising, it can also be interesting and useful to scrape the comments from other YouTube videos and entire channels even. YouTube makes it incredibly easy to scrape this comment data from any public video or channel because it offers an official API that you can use for free with your Google account. So first head on over to the YouTube data API, I'll link to it below and you'll get to a screen like this. And what you want to do typically when you work with an API is check out the reference guide and the first thing you need to do is figure out how do you authenticate with the API to tell Google and YouTube you are who you say you are. So they have a little bit about what you need to do. You have to have a Google developer console uh, account and go there and set it up. I wrote a little article here. I'll put a link to this below so you can follow along. It shows you exactly which link you need to go to to set up a new key. Or in my case, I've already set one up so I can just follow the link here. It'll go to Google's Cloud Console and then you wanna go to the YouTube Google API. You just follow the URL I have in the article. And here, if you've already registered a key, it'll show you the key here. So you can just copy this key and that's your API key. If you don't have it, you can just create one with the Create Credentials button over here. The thing you need to know about the YouTube specific key is if you create one and you don't use it for a 90 day span, they'll revoke the key and it's incredibly hard to get it back. You actually have to go and create a new app up here, which I had to do um, to get a brand new key. So if you do get it, make sure that you use it at least once every 90 days or they'll take it away from you. So once you have that API key, you can see it's pretty simple. You just have to append this access token equals query string to any endpoint you want to use in their API. So here I want to get the comments and they have two sections here called comments and comment threads. So if I want to query by the raw comment that includes replies, it can get a little bit tricky because I need to know upfront the root or parent comment ID to query this by. So in this example, I want to show you how to get all the comments for a specific video ID. So instead you need to go to comment threads because you can get the, you can search for comment threads by the video ID and then you get a thread which can include a number of replies. So the comment thread is the appropriate level here because it's in between the video and individual comment level. So let's click here and check out what they have to say about it. Common use cases. List by video ID. This will retrieve all comment threads associated with a particular video. That's what we want. Now what about the replies? Well, if we scroll down here, we can see that they ask you to provide this part string, which tells you how much data YouTube should send back and they eat at your quota. You get a certain amount of free quota every month with Google. And you can tell it basically, if you wanna get just the comment back, it'll cost you two credits. But if you want the replies back, it'll cost you an additional two credits. So we can just specify and tell Google to not only send us the raw comment, but if there are replies, also send it back in the response. The next thing we need to worry about here is the video ID. So we wanna tell YouTube the video ID we wanna get all the comments for. And lastly, we have pagination parameters, such as how many to return from each request. And there's also a page token we can use to go and get all the pages of comments. So if you have a very popular video with a lot of comments, you're gonna to want to go through multiple pages of comments to get them all. Let's do a quick demo. I wanna get all the comments from this video Cut hair at home, which I should desperately watch. So I can see here there's 545 comments. And what I'm gonna to need to give to the YouTube API is a video ID. So if I just look at the URL, I can find it after this V equals and copy this string and that's the video ID. Now if we go back to the YouTube endpoint, we can scroll all the way down. Then this really awesome widget that lets us query the API live without having to write any code. So what we have to do is put in the video ID down here and then the other thing we need to provide is under part, it tells us what parts of the response we want back. So here we're gonna put in snippet so we get the main part of the comment back, e.g. this top part. And I also wanna get the replies back. So if I click down here, it'll also return all these replies as a sub array in the response. And let me just check out some of these other parameters. What's interesting here is this order one. So when I go on the website, everything's ordered by relevance because it kind of, the ones that get the most likes, it rises to the top. But here on the API, the default is by time. So I wanna mirror what's on the website and sort by relevance. And I'm not gonna worry about pagination yet. For credentials, just use the API key, otherwise you'll get a scope error uh, and just hit execute. And we should get data back matching the website. So if we scroll down, we'll see the first comment from the snippet object is YouTube. We think that new comment section is better than old. 
YouTube, we think that new comment section is better than old. And let's check out some of these replies. So if I look at the API response, I can look at here under replies, it comes back as another uh, sub object in the JSON response. And then I see comments. This one says my YouTube won't even give me skip. And looking for it here, I don't see it. Uh, but if you go under more replies, you see it at the end. So it looks like it gives you the comments back in reverse chronological order with the most recent one first. So no big deal, the main comments are still ordered by their popularity and relevance as they call it. So now I've got all the data back, that's cool, but how do I get all 545 and all the replies? I wanna put them into a single spreadsheet for analysis or maybe I wanna put them into a database. So at this point, um, you can look at this show code and Google will give you some example code you can use they give you JavaScript if you're in Node.js, I guess. Uh, they have Python. So you can kind of copy this code yourself and just where it says developer key, your API key, paste in that API key from over here. And you can just kind of go from there and build your own program. But if you don't feel like writing code like me, I'm gonna show you another approach you can use on the CC data platform, which full disclosure, I happen to own that I built out and lets you get all these comments back just by clicking one button. This is the Steve C Data API wrapper around the YouTube comment threads endpoint. So it's actually very similar to what we were doing before where we could just type in what we wanted and the Steve C platform adds an additional layer on top of this and that instead of giving us back just that raw JSON blob, it's able to intelligently parse it and give us back CSV collections we can download and look at. Let me show you. So here's the video ID. Just get your API key, and I'm gonna execute it like before, but this time, Steve C is not only gonna give me the raw JSON response over here, it also automatically parsed all that JSON in real time and figured out what are the collections I may be interested in. So here, it figured out what I'm probably interested in. So this here is called items, it corresponds to the JSON, and it gives me a representation of the root comments. So here's that first comment we saw on the YouTube, uh, UI about the comments section and I can download this as a CSV file. So here are those first 50 comments in a single CSV file. Again, they're sorted by relevance or popularity. You can see the like count, how many likes each has, when they were posted and who posted it. Also the content if you want to do some NLP analysis. But that's not all. Down here under this replies comments area, it actually went and got the replies of all the comments and combined them together into a single CSV. So here I have 70 rows meaning that some of these root comments had, like the first one had 15 replies, that's 15 rows, but some of the other first 50 didn't have any replies and they were just gonna have one row in this. And I can download the CSV here. So here on the CSV, on the left-hand side, I have the content of the comment reply, and if I scroll over, I'll see the raw comment repeated over and over again for each of the replies. So in this case, we only got five back for the first one, and then each of these replies are here, and the raw comment is repeated to the right. So if you need to tie them together, if you wanna build a co-occurrence graph or something similar, you can do that with this data. So that's great for the first 50 comments, but how do I get all 545? If you just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, it keeps going, I wanna get all this data. If you're writing your own code, you'll have to look at the response from your first request, and you'll see this long next page token string, it's really long, you have to copy this, and then put it into your page token request parameter for your second request and you'll get the second page. And you keep doing this until you get to all the pages and you're done. And because I think that's such a simple task to have to write code for, I instead made a Steve C workflow, which you can scroll down and you can find it here. You can look at the details and see what it does. It lets you put in a list of video IDs and it'll go and automatically paginate using the self loop and I can import it. And now I can even put in a list of video IDs if I wanna do more than one over here, or I can just do one, no big deal. Put in your API key. And one thing I know from experience you wanna be aware of with the YouTube API is if I wanna do a deep crawl and get as much data back as possible, I want to order it by time. If you order it by relevance, there's more of a lag it seems with newer videos and you won't get as many comments back as possible. Uh, so I tried this earlier and I got 380 comments out of 545 only. And when you use time, you get a little bit over 400. I think there's some lag because it's a new video, so the API doesn't have all the comments yet. So to get as many back as possible, I would suggest ordering by time. And if you're using the official API, just change the uh, from relevance to time, which is the default.
and I can review everything. Under extractors, I can see the CSVs I'm gonna get back. So I'm gonna get one CSV file containing all of the pages combined, all their comments. So I'm gonna get about 400 or so, and then I'm gonna get a separate CSV file of only the replies if I wanna look at that. But like I said, those replies will also contain their parent comment if I wanna tie them to the source. And I just review everything here, and let's run this. So Stacy just made the first request over here with no pagination token. It got back the response and then it substituted the pagination token in here on the next request. So you can see it's gonna keep doing that and forwarding the pagination token until it runs out of responses and it's gonna combine everything together. So that was fast, 32 seconds, and I didn't have to write any code. Now I have 412 comments. So here are all the root comments, which ironically, most of them are comments about the comments section. Like I said, you can come to YouTube comments for intellectually stimulating debate and discussion whenever you want. So this here went and combined all those uh, pa paginated calls into a single CSV file so you have them all together. You can see the comments, who wrote it, when they posted it, etc. It also shows the like and reply counts over here. So I can see if the comment has any replies, how many replies it got, and also the like count. Then if I wanna look at the actual replies, I can open up this file. Again, as we saw, it's not an exhaustive list of the replies. If we want that, we need to actually use the comments replies endpoint, which is a little bit more tedious, but we can do that in another video if you want. Just leave a comment. And here are all the replies. So we can see the raw uh, reply text is here, and we can see who wrote the comment. And also on the right side, it shows us the comment that they're replying to over here. And you can see that the author and the content is duplicated for each reply. So this one, for example, we got five replies and we can see them all here. So this is great for one or two videos, but now you may be asking, well, how do I get all the comments for a whole channel? So if you go back to the YouTube API, you'll see this thing here called list by channel ID, which deceptively sounds like you can just put in a channel ID and you'll get all the comments back for that channel. Wouldn't that be great? Well, it turns out that it says it returns all comment threads about the spe specified channel. The response does not include comments left on videos that the channel uploaded. So I'm not exactly sure what this returns. I don't know if they mention, maybe it's comments that mention the channel. Well, let's see what happens if I put in the famous Steve C data channel ID over here and run this endpoint. I get a response with an empty body. So there are no comments back. So I have plenty of comments on my videos, but I may not have comments about my channel, whatever that means. Maybe I'll find that out after I get to a thousand subs. So to help me find out, please subscribe to Steve C Data. It turns out though, there is a way to automatically get all the comments for any channel. So here I'll put a link to this Steve C Data workflow below. This is a three step workflow compared to the one step I showed you before. So the first step actually takes a channel ID. I'm gonna give it the CC data channel ID and it has to look up the details about that channel and it specifically needs to find the upload playlist ID. For every channel, there's a special playlist called an upload playlist that has all the videos in the channel and we need to get that ID for the channel. So this first part looks that up and it passes the upload ID to this second part. The second part then takes that video upload playlist ID and it gets all the video IDs in that upload list. Basically it gets all the video IDs for my channel. It then passes all of those video IDs into the third step, which then goes and gets all the comments for all those individual video IDs. Let's import it. I'm gonna put in my channel ID here, put in my YouTube API key and we'll execute it. So here, like I said, it has three steps to it. So the first part is one out of three, then it'll automatically trigger two out of three and so on. So here I got the upload ID and it's passing it on to the two out of three step. Now I've got all the videos for my upload ID. So you can see I have a collection back with 45 items, one for each video, and it triggered the final stage of the workflow, which is gonna put all those 45 video IDs and get the comments and replies for each of them individually and wrap them up into a single CSV file. So now it's doing all of my videos one by one. I don't think any one of my videos has more than 50 comments, so it's not entering that pagination step like we saw before, but if it did, it would keep paginating through that one video before advancing to the next video. And we're done. I now have every single comment written about every one of my videos in two CSV files, including the replies. So I can see the raw comments here. Here in column B, I can see the video IDs, because like I said, I did multiple videos for my own channel this time, 
and I can scroll and see the content of the comments over here. And like I said, I can see the like and reply count. And these are all the replies to all of my comments. So you can see here the video ID, the content of the reply. Most of these are written by me. And then the right side is the data about the root parent comment. And what a great segue to asking you to leave your thoughts in the comments below. So the next time I run this, I'll get all those comments in a single spreadsheet and I can analyze and look at them and produce better content based on your feedback. Thank you so much for watching and stay data driven.